welcome back everyone i hope you guys are all staying healthy and safe in today's video i'm going to continue working on the third gen tundra and today i'm going to work on the interior we're going to be adding some we'll call it interior protection to the truck now my tundra did come with the all weather floor mats from toyota so the oem ones and they're okay but we've had such a gnarly winter here this year in utah that whenever i would come in with like snow on my boots and whatnot it would melt and it would just kind of seep down underneath the mats onto the carpet kind of defeating the purpose of those mats so i should have done this you know a few months ago but we will do it today i'm going to be throwing on these rough country floor liners these guys are super heavy duty unlike the little floor mats and also with these big little you know ridges and walls these guys should preserve all the mud and water in here it's not going to seep and ruin our nice carpet so i'm going to do these on the front and the rear which is really nice so that's going to be the first one i am going to have to pull everything out and vacuum the truck and then also which i'm super stoked about is i am going to be adding some rough country neoprene seat covers to the truck now i've had a few experiences where i've spilled stuff in the truck like coffee the kids juice and all that jazz and it gets into the little grooves of the seats and it was a pain in the ass to clean up so it'll be really nice to have this on the seats this is a neoprene material which means that it's going to be super breathable so i will still be able to use the air conditioned seats along with the heated seats through this and i'm not sure if you guys can see this but there is a little bit of you know extra padding on here so it'll make the seats a little bit more comfortable i have no complaints about the seats but you know it'll be a good way to switch it up and installation on this should take probably like 20 30 minutes should be a super simple install the hardest part really will be pulling out i got some baby seats in here cleaning it up and throwing this in there anyway super quick video for today just to continue working on the tundra as i've got a crap ton of parts i need to install i'm looking at it right now um, up next i'll go through and i do have a mbrp exhaust i want to throw on here next so that'll be the next video probably we'll do some before and after anyway let me know what you guys think about the build so far it's still pretty mild and without talking too much let's get into getting these things installed and then i'll give you guys a little you know before and after at the end so let's get into it All right, I've got the floor liners in. You know, took a whole three minutes to ins install them, so that was simple. They look great. Next up, we're gonna install the seat covers. I'm gonna start with the rear seats, just because I feel like they might be more difficult because it's a larger area. Let's open these bad boys up. Let's see, so cool. So these do come in two different pieces. As you guys know, these seats will fold down, so. This is one unit, it's the second one. We got bottoms, oh, this guy goes here. Let's put this down here. We'll start with this guy. And we do have all provisions for your like little hooks for your car seats and all that in the rear. So that's kind of neat. So we can still be safe with the babies. And these guys will just slide over. Um, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm gonna flip this Velcro out like this because it's getting stuck on the back of the seat. So. Now these guys are going to be a pretty tight fit because it is like a super precision fit. So keep that in mind. Be patient. And also to mention, because I do have the lighter interior, this, these seats get so dirty from my dog, Harley. 
So this will be really nice just not to have to like worry about that. All right, now one thing that I was actually curious about is because I do have this flip down armrest um, to see if this will actually be compatible and it looks like it is. So that's actually pretty cool. So not to worry about losing the functionality of that. It's not like anyone actually uses it. So let me hop on in here. And there we have it. Super simple install on getting the seat covers on. It took me about 25, 30 minutes getting them on here. Headrests and everything overall. Super pumped with the fit and finish. As you guys can see, it looks almost like OEM. They're like super like tight fitting, which is really nice. I've got the cooled seats going now and I can definitely feel them through the seat cover. So that's really, really nice, huge plus. Aside from that, they do feel a little bit softer, I think, because there is a the little like foam padding on the neoprene seat cover, so that's awesome as well. And I really like the way it actually looks. Only thing is, the little armrest right here, it's pretty much the only thing that's like, you know, mismatched now, and maybe like the door cards a little bit, but overall, super pumped with the install, like the way it looks. And I'm super pumped the fact that I'm not gonna have to like continue putting you know, towels down or like other like seat protectors, you know, for the dogs. So that's a huge up. Oh, phone's ringing. Anyway, with that being said, super simple, quick install. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll make sure to throw up some good like photos and videos of the floor liners and the seat covers. Like I said, next video, I'm going to try and do a exhaust on here. If I don't do that, I'll do some other like little bits and pieces maybe we'll do some exterior like protection just continue with the theme of that because i do have some little bits and pieces for that anyway let me know what you guys think about the build so far drop me a comment below drop me a like if you haven't already make sure to subscribe until next time we'll see you